Good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. on uh, media of the television, of the computers, and uh, any internet connections uh, you might have. And uh, of course, uh, we hope that uh, you remind a friend that we're coming on at 7 a.m. And uh, the show repeats itself on Sunday at 3 p.m. on the television portion. And uh, on the internet, uh, you can pick it up uh, anytime after it's recorded. So uh, easy to get the Bobby Dupre mm -hmm. show and my sidekick here, Andrew. Good morning. And uh, we have uh, quite a bit of uh, information to pass on to our friends. We hope it's interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to thank all our sponsors. And we'll start off by getting a Ooh, couple of our good sponsors that. right off the kicker. How about the pig? Piggly Wiggly with two locations in Opelousas, one in beautiful downtown. Town, Simsport, Louisiana. Their weekly specials have got the sirloin and pork chops at $1.19 a pound, yellow onions, 99 cents for three pounds, community coffee, two one pound bags of the select community coffee for $9. Don't forget about the large eggs as well, 18 count for $1.88. Go by the pig. The pig knows best. If you want to go by their website to see what specials they have every single week, you can go to go to the pig.com. And one more, let's go with Dixie storage all your storage needs personal and commercial they've got the small units if you just got a handful of items you need to put aside maybe you're a, a small business even that wants to leave some parts for your different employees and when they go through town they can pick up some you know parts or tools or whatever that can do that but maybe you need a larger unit maybe you're uh, got a kid going off to college you want to put some some of the furniture that mama's taking out the house to send with the kids while she replaces it with some good new furniture you can do that kind of thing maybe you put in the RV the boat the camper you can do all that kind of stuff in their big unit Units with locations in Washington, in Port Barry, in Opelousas. They've got railroad spur access. They've got uh, certified scales. If you're a trucker, you can go exactly. by and get your scales certified. Avoid uh, those your, big your tickets. That's right. And uh, they'll also do railroad spur access where they offload or onload your loads for you with the local railroad companies. Uh, can you get that picture of uh, Vicki and uh, Madison over at Rue? Uh -huh. 61. Uh, Rue 61 is a popular, uh, rather new uh, restaurant in uh, Natchez, Mississippi. And uh, instead of root, it's rude, like R O U X 61. Mm -hmm. Good, good food. And uh, I wanted you to bring that up because one of the first times that I had a big but that's, oh, that's right. not it. I missed it. <laughs> hang on. That's hang not on, it. Hang on. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch here. This one. I was uh, in Comes Natchez off. and uh, met up uh, with, get, get the young ladies first uh, before this. Vicky and uh, Madison. It. Bingo. Okay, now we got it. Now we got it. Uh, and, and I'll show this because uh, Joey Doucette uh, insisted that we eat at Rue 61. He'd been there and he says, I drove for over two hours to get to Natchez and I'm eating there. So I said, well, and he says, we want you to come along. So we went and had a good time and we met Madison. And I want you to know something, Joey. She was at the door greeting people and she called me by my name when I went in. So you go. she impressed me. And of course, she's uh, shown there with uh, Vicky. And uh, then uh, young man that's been there since they opened the restaurant, he's uh, in college, uh, Copia Lincoln uh, Community College in uh, Natchez, mm -hmm. and studying business administration. I said, well, you've got the first step already passed. You're very polite. You speak very well, very clear, easy to understand. And he's grilling oysters right and there? And he's grilling charbroiled oysters. Uh -huh. And when he got through at the end of the night, he literally, he pulled the whole cooking unit away from the wall and cleaned the backside. I had never seen that before. On wheels, cleaned it out. Very impressive uh, young man, and he uh, goes by the name of Shucky. Well, because he shucks the oysters, that's go. why. Good, good job, good, good food. And then uh, when, before we were leaving, we had some of the uh, wait staff uh, come in and have a picture. And uh, on the left, of course, is Madison's husband. And they are Lee's, but they spell it L-E-E-S, mm -hmm. add an S. It is Lee's, all right. But uh, when we think of Lee's, we apostrophe S. Mm -hmm. They just go right. with the S. Great service. They must have uh, 40, 50 people working uh, throughout wow. the kitchen. And uh, one of the two owners 
two brothers uh, owned the place along with, and Madison worked there. One of the two owners are in the kitchen at all times doing everything that the other cooks and waiters and waitresses and wait staff do. They clean the dishes, they do it all, and that's the reason for the fast growth of one of the uh, fastest growing uh, new restaurants in the state of Mississippi. And uh, kind of had to take a picture of this, very unusual. And what did you call this, this, this was dear? This inside the restaurant, that's what they call uh -huh. Atypical, you atypical. know, they, they talk about typical racks that you, you can they compete against each other, but the atypicals, when when they what do they call it, Boone and Crockett is how they rate right. those racks. That's right. That's an atypical because you see that that horn that goes down by his ear down, but still a beautiful rack even with, without all that. Yep. I mean, and it, big deer. It, it kind of gets your attention. It got my attention to take a picture. There's a lot of others on the wall, but the only right. one I took was the atypical. And you went to another restaurant. Yeah, another right restaurant. Here in uh, yes, sir. On Monday, uh, Dirk uh, Boudreaux and I. Mm -hmm. uh, went over to Myron's uh, Maison de Manger. Maison de Manger. The House of Eating. House of Eating. <laughs> and uh, got to talk with uh, Myron himself, mm -hmm. Myron Chotin. Right. Uh, he had an anniversary of uh, 30, maybe 31, 32 years, uh, just uh, last week, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, You came to talk to me one time about an investment. I said, you remember that? And he took it. He said, I don't remember. Then he says, yeah, I sure did. He says, uh, we were interested in starting uh, to make and sell praline candy. Mm -hmm. And he says, Emery Stelly and I did get it started. It, Emery Stelly, yeah. Emery Stelly, yeah. one of the Stelly sure, brothers right. with the furniture store and, sure. and all that. Right. Now, the sister-in-law still owns the Mini Mart. Correct. And, and she's... Uh, was a Stelly till she married Joe Cagnino, uh -huh. used to be the Audubon uh, adjuster. Right. Going back now. Well, no, we're, we're, we're tying everybody we're together. Tying, we're tying the whole, Everybody's related by the time we finish. That's right. But Myron, uh, you've really done a, a, a that the candy making didn't didn't last forever. Right. Like the song. But this restaurant. But the restaurant has really grown. Uh, it looks like they must have had four different times that he needed additional uh, oh yeah. and added when, it on. When, and when we lived in Grand Coteau, at least once a week, maybe twice a week, we would go eat there. And then, you know, whenever you didn't feel like cooking, you'd go pick up a plate then and, and you would go. And we had an office across the street. An office was Dupre across the street. Dupre Dupre had an office. And then there's a young lady you that was coming in. She says, aren't you Mr. Bobby on television? I said, I sure am. She said, well, I'm Stacy. I mean, she just uh -huh. went right into it. She says, uh, I'm related by marriage to your sidekick as you, you call it right. Andrew Gietros. That's Stacy Landry. She's married to one of Polo Stelly's boys now. But uh, yeah, Stacy and I grew up together, and, and, and I guess and, I guess you call us step cousins. And you talk about outgoing, in, in, outgoing, and in and interested in uh, promoting the business. She says, by the way. In November, we will have ball crawfish there you go. over here. So, and see, good her, news. Her, her daddy, Emil, we, we call him Juju, uh, Emil Landry, who uh, ran um, um, South um, Gulf. Gulf South Lumber in Arneville for years and years and years. Right. And her mama, uh, Barbara, who uh, cooked over at, at the school there for years, right there in Grankato. So, uh, everybody all in the family there. You see, yep, we hit yep. close to home. Nice little visit. Uh, Dirk, uh, thanks for the invite. We went in my car, but he invited me. That still works. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, well, we, how, we used to do that a lot, but I don't know. We, we say we're too busy now. It, you know? It's hard to squeeze in time, but we, we'll squeeze some more in. How about this? Let's show, let's show a couple more. While we're on the photo thing, we can knock some of these out. I've got this photo, and you know I'm supposed to have the note just sitting right on top, right next to my heart, and I don't have it. There we are. The Woodman of the World. Show this picture there, uh, Steve. The Woodman of the World, I talk about every week that will provide an American flag for any any uh, place that would like one. The Woodman of the World Lodge 47 here in Opelousa is their president, Terry Guidry, gave an American flag over to Tricia Fontenot, the administrative assistant at Grand Prairie Elementary in Grand Prairie, Louisiana, where you two brothers went to school and right I was, there. Well, I went you to went to school there, and, too? And half of the second grade. Right there in the big high school. And you and I have yeah. gone when they rededicated the library. My sister retired there as a teacher. Made a little contribution Debbie, of a, of a right. computer. How about that? Debbie Gilray over there. We had computers, there. of course, when I was in the second yeah, grade. Yeah, I bet you 
did. <laughs> we, did we didn't have electricity at my house yet. <laughs> you're counting on your fingers. And of course, my brother-in-law, Jimmy Gilder, was principal there for years. But Tricia was Tricia uh, Artigo. And of course, Larry and Marl, her parents, I've known them for years. Larry, that's the air conditioner man. And Miss Marl, that was an assistant over at the school. So good morning to them. And then we got some pictures of you at another restaurant. Like, you, you must eat a lot. Well, I, you uh, go to a lot of restaurants. I, I went to a meeting uh, last Thursday, last Wednesday night, uh, Noel Bunall and I, he's with Imperial, mm -hmm. fine casual here in Opelousas. He's a field rep and also uh, promotes the uh, flood insurance uh, throughout several states on that matter. But mm -hmm. uh, we uh, went to a dinner and he suggested that we go to Serops, Sir mm -hmm. which is a Greek a restaurant. Don't, Lebanese. Well, they call it Greek. Well, Le Lebanese and Lebanese, Greek. Greek, yeah, whatever. That's all next door to each other. And uh, the, the picture, the gentleman there is Mo Douglas, mm -hmm. and uh, very, very personable. Uh, I ate some of the food. I ate a salad. Mm -hmm. It was good, good. And then we ate a, a what hummus? Hummus, yeah, hummus. hummus. And it's so strange. You and uh, Steve, Steve talked, talked a little bit about, about hummus and, yeah. before the program last uh -huh. week. Y'all were standing right here right. To where I'm pointing, uh, in the studio here. And that night I ate some for the first time. So anyhow, Mo, you, you have a beautiful restaurant. And he made a statement there are more Greek restaurants in Baton Rouge than any other city in the United States I of America. That. And, and now that's a that's a big big statement because Baton Rouge is not that large a city when, compared to the large cities in the United States. The old original place was on Government Street. They used to have the belly dancers when you'd go in. If you I don't know if you ever went in there. They had, oh, oh yeah, they, would, they had the belly dancers too. I'd have been, like, maybe married six you, times. You, by you now. never know. <laughs> I'd have you, know, you know, your godchild does some belly dancing too. I don't know if you know that. She, she does some of that oh, kind of oh, dancing. Oh, how about that? And then you were over in Baton Rouge, staying at the, uh, Crown, the big, Plaza? Crown Plaza, and, it says, and Miss Mary. Mary Jane. Mary right. Jane's been in the concierge uh, on the fifth floor. Uh -huh. She's been taking care of customers like myself and Noel. When we go to Baton Rouge, we just go there. And when you get to that fifth floor, if she's anywhere around, she's greeting you and Taking wanting to know you. whatever you need, please give her a call. Then at 5 o'clock, they open up uh, the little, uh, they have hors d'oeuvres and drinks and the whole bit, televisions to watch. And uh, really, uh, you feel at home. She makes you, and she calls all her regular customers. She knows them by the first and, name. And a good concierge takes care of anything. What, what, whatever you need, if, if you yeah, want to go tickets or whatever. Tickets. To an she knows who to call. She knows. The there, there was this funny movie at one one time that I saw where, where the guy says the, she was looking for a husband. I said, well, why would she ask you? He says, I'm the concierge. You know, uh -huh. I provide what they want. How about you know? that? <laughs> Mary Jane, it's always a pleasure, girl. Thanks for your hospitality. All right. And then we're going to cut off the pictures. We'll come back to them af after our break in a minute. But we took care of most of our well, business. Well, let me. What you got? Uh, we 30 have seconds. What you 30 got? seconds. We have the Brobridge Citywide Garage Sale. Mm -hmm. Miss Courtney Raymond and Mr. Johnny Raymond uh, sent this by about two months ago. We started mm -hmm. reminding periodically. Well, this week weekend, the 5th and the, the 6th, that'll be what, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, they're gonna have a Brobridge citywide garage sale. And so this mm -hmm. is to bring people downtown and uh, you do your shopping. And if you haven't been to Brobridge in the last few years, you need to take a little go, ride. It's a good short go, ride go along down the I-10. Then you can go down go, the Go Tesh. along the park. They're gonna have a bunch of booths, I think, set up is what they do inside the park. Yep, it, it's, a, it's a real big, big day. And uh, be sure to tell Miss Courtney hello for it. We'll see you folks on the other side of one minute.